Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a great day. So I'm going to attempt to vlog today and my aim is to actually vlog out and about because if you watched my last vlog you would have seen that I pretty much just vlogged inside and I know that's not very interesting for you guys to watch so I'm going to try my hardest today. It is such a beautiful morning and it's supposed to get like quite warm later on today. Um, so I've just popped some leggings on but I always do that when I'm walking Harley because he just jumps up and gets all my clothes mucky but probably when I go back I'm going to change into something more summery because who would have thought in September we're getting sunny days. So I'm going to try and make the most of my summery clothes whilst I can because I literally was like going to put them away because I thought I wouldn't get to use them again but apparently I am. Harley and I are now back from our walk and I've just got changed because like I said it's supposed to be like 21 degrees again today I think like yesterday it was really warm but I was working um but then in the evening when I finished work I actually went on my dad's motorbike with him and that was the first time I'd been on his bike in such a long time um so if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen my post I'll put it here of me and my um motorbike gear and it was actually so much fun and like the nicest night ever for it because we got like yeah, it was just like a nice temperature and the sunset was so beautiful. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. But yeah, I'll show you the outfit that I've just changed into. Okay, so I've got this little top on that I always wear. My sister got this for me for my birthday. I think it was like a year or two years ago and I actually love it uh, just because it's like got the sun theme and it matches my necklace. I don't know if you guys can see that it's a little sun. So I thought that went really nice. And then I've got this skirt on. I'm trying not to stand on Harley. I got this the other day from TK Maxx and you guys know I love TK Maxx because you find some unique bits and pieces in there and it's so affordable. Like this skirt was $12.99 and I love the colour and I just love wearing skirts because I find jeans so uncomfortable. I literally own one pair of jeans um, which I actually had to buy the other day because I didn't own a single pair and I was like I need at least one pair of jeans but Generally, I will like wear leggings or if I want to look nicer, I will wear a skirt. So that's what I'm going for today and it is so nice. I love it. And yeah, the sunshine just makes me happy. So I'm so glad that it is um, a nice day. But yeah, I always forget that I have tattoos and it wasn't until like the other day I was out for lunch with my friend and then the waitress came over and I was, I think I was actually wearing this top because I like when I'm obsessed with something I just wear it all the time and then she was like oh my gosh I love your tattoos and it was so funny because I actually forget that they're there until I wear something like this and then someone points out but I actually love them but I know a lot of people don't like sometimes when I'm wearing a top that shows my arms I do get funny looks but I'm just like oh well I love them and that's all that matters <laughs> So my mum and I, we met up with my sister and my niece and we actually just went to Costa. It was so busy in there so of course I chickened out and didn't film anything. I mean I filmed a little clip which I'll put in here but I just had the usual anyways. But yeah, as I said, it's such a nice day today so we've actually come to feed the ducks because we just want to be outside and enjoy the sunshine. So it's been nice, we've like done a nice walk. I've literally done about 15,000 steps already today. My niece has food for them, so they're going crazy. It's like duck food that she bought at the shop. Good girl, whoa. So as you can see, I am now back home and I had the nicest day out with my family. It was so nice having like unexpected nice weather in September because honestly the last few weeks it's just been miserable rain cold and then all of a sudden we've just had these like nice few days um, of sunshine and it's been great um, so it's really nice just to get out and about with my family today and spend some time with my little niece she's honestly so cute and she just comes out with the funniest things and yeah like I literally adore her and I love the bond that I have with her like being an auntie is just the best thing ever and I love my nieces and my nephew and yeah I'm just so thankful for them um so yeah I had such a nice day so when I got back home I actually watched some of the Real Housewives of Orange County with my mum so I don't know if you remember when I used to live back at home I used to watch this with my mum and actually my sisters as well um back when they both lived at home 
and um, yeah, I hadn't watched it since I moved out because it was just sort of something we did together. Um, so now that I moved back home, me and my mom have started re-watching it from the start and um, there's like seasons afterwards that we haven't even seen yet. So we're just making our way through it and we're loving it. And yeah, it's just so nice to do little things like that. And yeah, I'm just kind of focusing on those sort of positive things since I've moved back home because yes, it can feel like such a step backwards I've moved back home. And I don't know why I even feel like that because if someone like my age or even older says they still live at home like I would never judge them or think like it's a bad thing or that they're a failure or anything like that but um yeah I just fear that maybe some people do think that about me but then I'm just thinking like I'm just so lucky to be able to spend this like extra quality time with my family and so I'm just thinking of those positives but anyways when we went to Costa I also popped into the works because um my niece wanted like books from there and uh yeah we just had like a little look around and I actually got the girls in love series um Jacqueline Wilson so I don't know um it depends like what age you are watching this but if you're like around my age um maybe even like a little bit older a little bit younger because I know both my sisters both my older sister and my younger sister also read Jacqueline Wilson um you might be a Jacqueline Wilson fan does anyone remember the Jacqueline Wilson fan club? Because I used to go on that with my sisters, like on our laptop, like we had one family laptop because like the internet and everything was so new and we never had anything like that in our household. And then my dad got this laptop and we used to like take turns about and go on the Jacqueline Wilson fan club and then Club Penguin, what else? Stardoll, like those were the days, I loved that. Because I think now like, I'm just on technology all the time and I'm actually so glad that I grew up where I wasn't on technology all the time and like it was just like a treat to go on the laptop and do that things when I was younger whereas now like we just have so much technology just readily there so I'm so lucky I grew up um, when like laptops and phones weren't really a thing that makes me sound so old but honestly I just love it so yeah let me know if you remember the Jacqueline Wilson fan club but yeah basically I bought these because the new Jacqueline Wilson book is out and it's like a, a I always get this muddled up a sequel I think is that the one after so it's a sequel to this series of books the girls in love book uh book series so yeah I bought these so that I can reread them before I read the new book just to like refresh my memory and I think it'll be such like a trip down memory lane to like read these books that I read as a child it probably sounds stupid but I just want to read them and also this is like a really nice set so I got that for £10 in the works I love the works it's just great so yeah let me know if you've read the new Jacqueline Wilson book don't give any spoilers because I'm gonna read these first before I do um but yeah, let me know what you think of it without giving any spoilers. And then my other bargain for the day, we also went to Tesco. Of course, you guys know that before I um, moved out, I was always in Costa and Tesco. That's just what my vlogs were known for. And now that I've moved back home, the Costa trips are back and the Tesco trips are back. Um, so yeah, my bargain in Tesco, got this skirt. It's literally just like a plain, black skirt but I have been wanting one of these for ages and the thing was is I've seen them like in loads of different places but they always had a slit up them and I like I do like a skirt with a slit but I just wanted this like one without a slit because I wanted to be able to wear it in the winter and stuff like that as well and just like yeah it not be like have a slit and just be not very versatile for different sort of weather conditions so yeah my mum spotted this one in Tesco and the great thing was it was reduced to three pound. Three pound for a skirt, what the hell? That is a bargain. So yeah, it's something I've always wanted and just like one of those stable pieces, I feel like you need no wardrobe because it's just so plain and simple and basic. It will go with anything. Cause then I can wear it with like jumpers in the winter, but then in the summer I could also wear it. So yeah, three pound. You guys know I love a bargain. just adding what you just watched and I realised that the vlog was really short and I'm off today so I thought I would just carry on this vlog. Um, so today the plan is, sorry I had a hair in my mouth, um, but what I was saying was yeah this morning, well I took Harley for a walk obviously um, as I always do, he is trying to get up on me right now. <laughs> such a cutie. He desperately needs his haircut. He's actually getting it cut next week and I am so excited for 
like just this mess to be gone. I'm sure if you have a dog you can sort of relate when their hair gets to that stage where it's just too long. It's just so hard to like brush and take care of. So yeah, I'm looking forward to him getting his hair cut. Um, but yeah, this morning I am actually gonna try and put some of my autumn decorations out because it's now actually um, October and I haven't got any autumn decorations out. And you guys know me like, when I had my own place, I would have all my autumn stuff out on like September the 1st. And the fact that it's now October and I don't have anything out is um, really bugging me. So I did have to um, like put a lot of stuff to charity, as I said, but I did keep a few bits and pieces and they're actually out in the shed because I don't have any room for like any Christmas or like Halloween or autumn stuff. So I just like kept it out in the shed. So I'm hoping it'll be fine um, because like I said, in my room now that I've moved back home, I just have this one cupboard and so that's for like all my essentials that I actually use every day. So the Christmas and Halloween stuff is out in the shed. So I'm going to go out and get it in and yeah, I'm, I can't even remember what I've kept. There's probably only like a few bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, I'll go and see what is there. I've actually got on the three pound skirt that I mentioned earlier in this video, the one I bought from Tesco's. Three pounds! Like, I still can't believe it. I'm going to be going on about it forever because I love a bargain. But yeah, it is so comfy. The only thing is, is because it's so long, um, I kind of understand why most of them have a slit now because it's kind of hard to walk. So I'm kind of like waddling, but oh well. Um, and then I've got this jumper on, which I got from Primark. I absolutely love the colour. Like, this is my new favourite colour, guys, especially for this time of year, like this forest green. I love it. And this is just so cosy. Can you just see how nice that material is? And yeah, I absolutely love it. So that is my very simple outfit. So everything that I kept is literally inside this tiny little box, which is such a downsize. Like it honestly makes me so sad. Like all my throws, my cushions, like I just had nowhere to keep them. Um, so I just had to give them to charity, but I did keep this little pumpkin cushion. So I'm gonna pop that on my bed. And then, yeah, I kept this little, sign because I like that and yeah I've got a few bits and pieces in this box so I'll just pop um around my room and then I did buy this um recently I think this was from the range just because I do have room to store another cup thankfully um my mom and dad's kitchen they like cleared a shelf for some of my like cups like this I love with my straws like my Taylor Swift cup my friend's cup um so I thought I can definitely add a pumpkin one into that so yeah I'm gonna start drinking out of that I need to wash it first actually but it's so cute is anyone else an adult and they still have like a collection of cuddly toys because I love mine and each and every one of them like has a special meaning to me like for example this one actually belonged to my granny and she passed away when I was about eight and I've kept it ever since and I just love it. But anyways, I got these string lights and I'm gonna pop them around my bed frame because I did mention in my last video that I want some cozy lighting for when I'm reading. Um, so these ones are little golden leaves. How cute are these? I really think it's important for me to still like decorate my bedroom and stuff because that's something that I loved about having my own place was just like all of the like decor and I don't know like if you're a homely person you can probably relate like making your home the way you want it and like when you see nice things in the shop and you're like oh I'm gonna buy that that would look so nice in the living room or whatever like it's just nice like I enjoy that especially like seasonal decor it's just yeah, it's just something I really enjoy. So here is my little cozy autumn sort of like corner of my room. So on the shelf, like this shelf is probably the main bit, I have these cute little pumpkin fairy lights and I've just sort of draped them around all of the ornaments. It looks so nice. So this Hello Autumn plaque was from Tesco a few years ago, but they always have like similar ones every single year. And yeah, I just love it, it's so nice. And then I have this little um, handmade like wooden ornament that I got from uh, Autumn Market either, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. And yeah, the lights just look so nice going around it. Then I have my gold pumpkin. 
that's just like something that's not a terminal but I just still kept it there because there was a little blank space and then I have this nice little like sage green um, pumpkin there and then I have my navy pumpkin which is so cute and then the lights around my bed which I love so yeah they're little golden leaves and I think they look so cute and then we have my little pumpkin cushion as well so yeah I'm happy with that let me know what you guys think but I think it looks really cozy and I think especially at night time whilst I'm reading it will be so nice I'm really happy with that because you guys just know how much I love home decor for like autumn and Christmas so yeah I'm so glad I've still got like my little shelf and I can just put my fairy lights up um, and just make it look cozy still. So yeah, I'm really delighted with that. So I've met up with my sister and my niece and I'm here with my mum, obviously. We've come to Costa. <laughs> it's a weekly tradition again. And yeah, this is all the good food. I got a lemonade actually. Mm. Yeah, I got a lemonade because I'm so thirsty. Like, I thought it was kind of cold today, but it's actually not. I was going to get a hot chocolate, but then I was like, I'm too warm. Nice Do you know why you do to this? You have to like, like rip. You have to like <laughs> to take this off and then eat this and then eat the whole muffin. I'm gonna eat mine all. Are you gonna eat yours all? Yeah. So we just quickly nipped into B and M and they have their like autumn stuff in. It's so nice. Uh, Lulu, yes. what are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm speaking to your camera. <laughs> I love this, this is so cute. This is nice. It's like knitted. Cozy season. These are so cute. Oh, look at the little ghost. Oh, those are nice. Oh, they're cute. Little baskets. Oh, look at this little one. That's too cute. Ooh, is that diffuser nice? I just bought cinnamon. One today. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I um saw it over there. Oh, they have Christmas stuff as well. This is what a four-year-old wants to buy in the shop. <laughs> so cool, love it. I just got heavily judged by my niece. She just got to that age where she's realised that I'm so strange. <laughs> she just recognised that I talked to my camera. She goes, what are you doing? That's so weird. Why are you talking to your camera? I've done it so much around her, but she's never been to that age where she's actually sort of clocked. Like, what? what is, what are you doing? But she just has, so she's officially reached that age. So I'm back home now. We actually went to go and visit my great granny, which was really nice. So it's now like, pretty much almost the evening. I'm about to take Harley out for his walk, but I wanted to show you guys this harness. I think I've showed you this before, actually. Um, it's a little cute pumpkin one. How adorable. It's so cute. I just thought whilst I was getting all my decorations out, I might as well get his um, autumn harness out. It's so cute. So yeah, we're gonna go out for a walk and hopefully we'll do better on this walk because I mentioned in my last video that we we're seeing um, a dog trainer like regularly again so I'm literally seeing him every single week um, and I think like the consistency I've just noticed such like a big change in him obviously if you just met for the first time you'd think oh my god he's still uh, like he's got a long way to go but because I've known like what he was like before I can see the progress and he's definitely come a long way which is amazing so I definitely think just the consistency and like the socialization is so good for him so it's nice to see him making progress so yeah hopefully we'll go out and have a successful walk and he won't be crazy and barking um but yeah I'm definitely feeling more positive about things because I don't know if you don't have a reactive dog it's very hard to like know what it's like but it can be very stressful like a lot of walks I've gone out on especially because I usually walk him alone it can feel like a lot of people are judging me and like they think that I'm a bad dog owner or whatever when really I'm trying my hardest to help him and like fix his 
issues and anxiety and I think because I'm such a like shy person anyways I like to just go outside and just no one look at me and me feel invisible but with Harley because he barks and draws attention to me I find it quite stressful so a lot of walks I come back like in tears or something because someone said something to me or just being mean and like it can just be quite stressful when you're just trying to go out for a peaceful walk and Harley goes barking mad. I feel like I just jinxed it by talking about all the progress he's making because I just left the house and he just started barking and going crazy. <sighs> One day at a time though, I will get there. Just gotta keep positive. One day I'll have a well behaved dog. To be fair, he's walking so nice now. Good boy. So I got some new skincare bits and pieces because I really want to try and like get my skin just looking healthier like I've I've always had spots and I know that I'll never get rid of them but if I could just have like just I don't know skin that just looks a bit more like glowy and fresh like I just have very dry skin so yeah I'm gonna try out some stuff and just try and get it a, just looking a bit healthier I guess um so my brother actually recommended the CeraVe brand to me um so i got this blemish control cleanser sorry by the way if you can hear an accordion my dad actually plays it so if you hear it in the background that is him just practicing but yeah this is this isn't the exact one that my brother recommended to me i think he uses a moisturizer but i was looking for a cleanser so i got the blemish control cleanser i'll give that a go and then yeah i was just looking online for some skincare and i got this set um and it was actually reduced so that's always a good thing it's um by the ordinary it's called i can't remember what the set was called um but if i do remember i will leave it linked down below um but yeah it comes with like this is how does anyone ever feel like they are just not very clued up on like i was gonna say like girly things but that's so stereotypical but what i mean is like when it comes to skincare, I have no clue. Like people ask me, what, what's your skincare routine? And I'm like, I don't have one. Or like when it comes to things like eyebrows, like I've never had my eyebrows done, which you could probably tell because they don't look great. Or like I had, I got my nails done for the first time in my life. Like I'm 26, I got my nails done for the first time in my life the other week. Like I'm just so clueless when it comes to things like that. So yeah, in this set, this is, I believe this is a moisturizer and then I don't even know what this is. Multi-peptide plus HE. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even know what this is. So yeah, like I say, I have no clue what they do, but it's just like a three-step skincare routine. Harley looks so cute. He just watches everything I do. But yeah, these are the products up close. I've done my skincare and I'm gonna try and stick to doing that every single morning and evening and just yeah just keeping at it and then hopefully i will notice some um improvements with my skin but yeah i've also just been editing so if you can hear my laptop in the background it's so noisy um yeah just because i've been editing but i was saying to my mum the other day about how loud my laptop is and how slow it can be at times but then i was thinking like it's actually quite old so it's done me really well because I remember when I first bought my MacBook Air and I just thought it's so expensive because it's like I mean obviously they're probably a lot more expensive now I think I got this like I was trying to think when I got it and I think it must have been almost like 10 years ago so it has lasted a long time I remember it being like 1000 pounds or like maybe 1100 I don't know it must be a lot more expensive now but I remember just thinking that's so much money because it is but when you think of the fact that it's lasted me a decade that is like a really good investment actually so i actually can't complain but yeah it is looking very cozy i've got my lights on and yeah i'm just gonna finish editing what i'm editing and then i'm probably gonna read my book for a bit and then go to sleep so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog and i'll see you again very very soon for another one bye guys